Welcome back guys to another episode of my video and today we will be counting down the top 10 most hit songs in the Bhutanese music industry. So let's get this list started. Number 10, Mika Tsipi Meto by Kinli Wanchu and Sedon. Now this song was already famous in the year 2002, going by the title Bumo Lebi Minchu, which was sung by the actor Kim Sang Doji, which has touching lyrics with soothing beats and soundtrack that just catches your ears. The song again came back to the Bhutanese audience in 2013 when Kinle Wanchu and Tedon both decided to release their cover and the Bhutanese audience just loved it. Number 9, Leto by M Studios. First releasing in the year 2013, Leto Mingo was a smash hit, being played in cabs, karaoke's, bars, and almost everywhere. The song gave the audience something that we all could relate to, the singer singing about his unrequited love. The lyrics were just too good that people couldn't ignore it. <laughs> Number 8, Mi Timpu by Misty Terrace. Although the band's previous songs like Timbu Babisa and Yongpula were also hits, none touched the patriotic hearts of Bhutanese like this song. Featuring all the band members in their official MTV and amazing sceneries of Timpu, the starting of the song caught everyone's attention. Top 7, Kuzu Zangho by Kezang Doji. In the year of 2015, there were a lot of Bhutanese hip-hop artists on a rise, wanting attention and fame. But none came to the level as Kezang Doji and his album with the same title, Kuzu Zangho. Even starting a country tour three years later, Kuzu Zangho was heard by everybody. And when I mean everybody, I mean everybody, as Kezang Doji was even featured in the international news channel BBC. We were very poor. One day when I was in my ninth grade, I heard, uh, I saw a music video of uh, a song by Eminem. And uh, I did not fully understand the lyrics, but I instantly fell in love with what he was doing. <laughs> Number 6, Yumcho by Da Tako and Lungten Wanchu Karma. If you knew that this song would be on our list, I am not shocked, as Da Tako and Lungten Wanchu Karma dropped bombs on the Bhutanese music industry with their singles and albums getting better by each year. The fast rap and the catchy lyrics just caught everybody by surprise and was just wild, giving a foreshadow of where our music industry is headed. By the end of 2021, there was no one in Bhutan who haven't heard of the song called Yumzo. 
Che yum cho yum cho yum cho yum cho oh yum cho yum cho oh yum cho yum cho oh yum cho yum cho Number 5, Hey Beautiful by Sona Wangchen featuring Drona, being the first ever song to reach over 1 million views on YouTube. This song took Bhutan like a storm. The song was a TikTok trend even after 2 years. The sweet vocal by Sona Wangchen, the fast rap flow by Drona. The two artists collaborating with each other wanted to make a name for themselves and boy did they do it. After their official MTV release, both their names were known throughout Bhutan and the audience of Bhutan just wanted more from Flow Studios. Not helpful at all. This is why Number 4, Where Is It? by Kunzang Chogel, also known as Chogo by his stage name. Kunzang Chogel took Bhutanese rap to another standards by the year of 2020, giving a motivational speech in the end. The amazing mix by Flow Studios and lyrics were just a perfect fit of the puzzle. The rising artist gave an insight on how it feels to try doing what you love and to keep going on. And if you think that I didn't make it, then burn my soul at least. Maybe I keep coming back for achievement and let my soul just rest in peace. Let my soul rest in peace. I let my soul rest in peace. I make music uh, for the love of you people for escaping reality whenever people are sad and they just want to go someplace else but they don't have anyone to talk about so I just want to say that I, I'm not saying that I'm the best but I just want to say that if it's something you want in life then you should grab it before it's too late and <laughs> Number 3, Nada Gelpo by Lok Yeshi. Now let's go back to the year of 2003, which was a crucial stage of development for Bhutan. As a tribute to the great fourth king, the singer, teacher and artist, Lok Yeshi, also known as Lok Yeshi, released his debut single, which was a Japtan titled Nada Gelpo. The song was an amazing hit, where it was featured on news channels like BBS and Epometo even featuring in radio studios. This song deserves to be in our top 3 category as till this date, it is still considered one of the best shabdom ever contributed. Number 2. Nangsum, the first letter by DNR. When it was first released at the end of 2020, no one exactly knew what the lyrics meant or what exactly the singer was trying to convey. Releasing their MTV in the year of 2021, the song was a TikTok trend and even people's favorite. Telling a story of how an artist can't seem to forget his past love life and wanting to rewind time, Nangso makes us all want to grab a tissue. Before 
we reveal our number one hit. There are lots of singers and artists in Bhutan who we have missed. So here are some honorable mentions. Number one, Ning Tenma, Sona Wang Chen featuring Chogo. What do you get when two top rising artists of Bhutan and number one music production studio of Bhutan collab all together? You get exactly what you expect, a masterpiece. Being the fastest Bhutanese song to hit over 300,000 views in a single day and a TikTok trend among the audience, Ning Tenma had to be the number one on our list. Do a flip and let it ride on the uke Close eyes and I feel like I'm just hypnotized Perfection when I stare right back into your eyes No rush, we can take it slow Right here for you girl, I just wanna know Tricky, don't go, girls on your bunny and Me and me then on our side together go the job on side Your girl, my son, where's shawty Me and Sim, they trip by Yassi and it's so damn crazy the feeling that I get when I look in your eyes and make the stars so bright. Me, 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 me,